Did we do it, Alyssa? Do you have sound? I mean, like, I have sound, but it's not where it should be. So it's not. we're, we're it working on it. I also had to re reboot this thing because it was, like, frozen in a, a blue world of nothingness. <laughs> okay. So, but how, how are you this morning? Hi, everybody. Hi. Do we oh, we've got the wrong theme, I think. Do we even do we have, have a the theme? Wrong... Nah, we don't have a theme. That's not... We're not organized like that. This isn't... We could do... Yeah, there, there's the one of my virtual backgrounds, landscapes. We got the blue screen of death. Maybe that's more fitting. Considering mm, your, yeah, for this morning, situation. it's definitely more fitting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, we're going to do some VR stuff today this is how organized we are now this is a show about organization today and <laughs> you're so unorganized how ironic <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have uh we're gonna have fun that's for sure uh no we're gonna go to our vr world and kind of clean up today and reorganize some things and um we'll probably reiterate some tips and tricks from before about how to organize code blocks and we, we kind of made a hot mess of things over the last few shows so we're going to clean that <laughs> up and uh, plan where we're going to go next um so a little little quick hardware recap though we're, we're using the oculus quest we're on facebook's horizon platform which is still i believe a beta invite only situation right is it Facebook. I don't think they've released this yet, so we're still we're still beta testers. Uh, the, the, the sign up, yeah. So it's uh, it's by invite. I don't know how hard it is to get invited. Um, I mean, I, I'm on there, so it couldn't be too hard. <laughs> so we'll, you're like they it. let me in, so yeah. Just Google Bing, uh, Facebook Horizon, and um, hit hit sign up, and you should be able to get an email from them in a couple days or weeks knowing if you're in or out. Um, so we're, we're going to do some 3D dev stuff in a new environment, um, which I think is really cool because you get to build like inside the tool, which is something that's not the norm. So you don't have to install things like Unity and not that these things are bad. They're just complex and hard to learn. So we don't have to install Unity. We don't have to install like Maya or 3D Max or any of these other words I'm saying you might not understand because they're all like gaming situations they're all gaming uh tools this is kind of an all-in-one thing and it might remind you of scratch a little bit um the the coding i think is uh simple yet completely complex which is kind of mind-boggling but fun so it's, it's like a fun puzzle you get to figure out as you go so i, I found it uh a creative challenge <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going overview. old school right now, and I don't know how. I mean, obviously can't wear oh, these. Oh my gosh, you went hardwired headphones. Look at you. Like I went, you know, when Bluetooth gives up on you, it's like you're you're not worth it anymore, and you're like. So, <laughs> so you're not even on the PC, and this is a Mac problem, huh? Mm, yeah. Well, so usually the AirPods they sync pretty well with whatever device I'm using. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they get fixated on a device. So they're like, we're going to be on mobile today only. And you're not ever going to listen to desktop <laughs> anything. So, I, I mean, I've literally turned the phone off and it's still not connecting to my computer. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get it working. But I'm so excited for an organization day because, honestly, programming in VR, especially in Horizon, is like one thing to wrap your head around. But then it just gets out of hand so quickly. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> That's why I like splitting things up into different worlds and segments. Um, mm. we, we can get some screen sharing going here. It might be a little more evident what we're talking about. but The mess. Um, show, are you going to show our mess? I'm, I'm trying to teach our wonderful Alyssa how to do these uh, things on PC soon. So uh, you may see some more fun stream things coming from... I'll listen in the future from her PC. I've, con yes. I've converted her from Mac forever. <laughs> I I still I still don't have like uh, all the apps installed that I you know I need to develop. But we'll we'll say I'm converted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I may show you something. Yeah, I, I could probably try at the end of the show. Um, I don't know if I I have enough horsepower to run this or not. What? But, uh, uh, Half Life Alex. 
uh, if I could try streaming that for a minute, I think you would find that pretty amazing. Because what you I've played heard of VR this. games. Yeah, I've heard of this. What is that? You have not seen Half Life Alex, which is something that you could actually run now, and I think you'd find it pretty mind-boggling how amazing that thing is compared to the graphics that you've seen on the Oculus so far. Um, it is unworldly. So, sorry, I'm just giving this a quick clean. I just ran out of a meeting, and it's got fingerprints all over it, and I love how it still, like, projects while I'm not wearing it. Well, <laughs> it's like, so the ground is feet. beautiful. <laughs> My virtual lack of feet. You're breaking walls here. We don't need to know that there are no feet. <laughs> There's no feet in VR, folks. It's not a thing. There's no such thing as virtual feet. <laughs> and yet you can buy oh, virtual Nikes. Arm, oh, that's that that's nice. Is, that's, that's, that's not an awkward position. <laughs> yeah. it's, that looks uncomfortable. Let's try to fix that. Um, yeah, you're not going to make millions selling virtual shoes on uh, VR. That's for sure. We'll see that more. No lower half, really. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing, but... Uh, oh, I like that you, like, waggle towards your lower half that's missing. <laughs> like... <laughs> All right. It's been a couple days before I put this on. And it's really weirdly oriented, and I can't get it to switch back. Like, everything's on my left. <laughs> Am I hitting the wrong button here? I don't know. If it's have there been, so have you heard of any updates we since we last? Or is it, is everything no, I, pretty much the same, we hope? So we went on a little stint where they were like hitting a release like every week or two. So there was yeah. like all these changes. Every time we'd open the tools, it'd be different. And uh, I think they finally settled for a little bit. I haven't seen any massive updates come through. They've, they've arrived, essentially. Yeah. Hopefully, if there are any, they've been uh, like bug fixes and stuff. And while I do this and I jump into our VR world, Alyssa, I'm going to try to put on my um, other audio input from my Oculus here so you can hear me better mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. VR, from the beyond. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oculus virtual desktop device. And I'll have to teach you all of this sometime, which I don't mm -hmm. know how I'm going to do because a lot of this stuff, it doesn't let you stream. Oh, <laughs> the screen sharing doesn't show certain desktop things I'm doing. So yeah, I'm in VR now. Okay, and it runs nice and smooth in here. So I'm running from my PC. So, <laughs> uh, so last week, this looks really good. Um, I haven't been in here for a little bit. So when we left it, it um, it was kind of abruptly, I guess. And uh, what we did last week is we we made teaming. I think so we have a red team and uh, we can shoot the red angry birds off of their little pouch or perches um, and then we have a blue one and we can shoot them off uh, there you can hit it I mean it's like behind the b the bamboo the bamboo <laughs> the bamboos we figured out the plural was bamboos remember uh, did, was you, that you official Googled it. okay yeah. didn't you google it you said it was bamboos <laughs> Even my daughter was like, are you sure that's right, Daddy? That does not sound right. Not and I was like, maybe it's like my, like a mouse and mice. It's Bambis. Bambis. Like, no, it's definitely not Bambis, Dad. I was like, okay. Then <laughs> you have to take my word for it. Uh, I'm looking, which is a plural form. What? So we are disorganized. And um, first thing I would probably do is delete anything that's not pertaining to what we're working on so that wall was from a um challenge a challenge yeah, a challenge a duel if you will a design duel so we we do have some organization here um we have the scoring for our game which needs to be fixed by the way because What's we have a that? combined scoreboard we need a red and a blue scoreboard we did not get that far yet Oh, right, 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 right. That makes so, that would so, make sense not to just have a collective score like it's a some sort of co-op. <laughs> yeah, so I'll show you a little trick right here. Um, if here, let's create some blocks. This is actually one of the tutorials you'll find with uh, Horizon, by the way. So it's not something that you it's not like a super secret trick, but it's just handy. So if I want to select three these three balls, I can mm -hmm. kind of point and select inside. 
that's kind of annoying because you saw maybe it moved a little bit when I selected it. So I'll try it again. Like when I click, it's hard to not accidentally like move this while you're clicking on it. So, whoops, wrong button. So what you can do is see when I pull the trigger, it kind of glows a little bit and there's like a little trail. Yes. I can yes, swipe yes, yes. and I can select. And then if I hold it and I swipe again, it'll deselect. And I can also go do, 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 and select all three. Mm. So if you kind of hold and drag, it'll group select. It's like a, it's, it's kind of like a mouse drag where you're like. Yeah. So <laughs> now they're all selected. I can group things as well. So by clicking the left uh, button on my control stick, they'll group and now they're permanently, well, semi-permanently grouped together. Let's say tell it to ungroup, they're always grouped. So with that said, I'm going to delete that. <clears throat> And then we'll come down to this scoring pad here. This is one of the ways I organize my levels. I just put them on a little block with some text. So I know uh, this is kind of like a namespace, for lack of a better term. You know what namespaces are? They have those in, in JavaScript. It's, um, it's not namespaces so much as it is. Um, what's the terminology in that, that world, Alyssa? Are you talking about like a class? Um, Explain yourself. Closure. A closure. Oh, it is a closure of sorts. So uh, this is our scoring mechanics here. So what I like to do is you should not group these. I found that it kind of bugs out sometimes if you group scripts and other things together. It oh, kind of like ma mangles their functionality for some reason. So what I do is I uh, anything that's not a script is OK. Like if you wanted to take the text and group that to the white block, that might be okay. But you don't want to group these to that block. I don't know why. It just kind of makes things go buggy. But if you group select them, you can move them together. So I'd move those kind of off uh, the main drag here. And this is kind of like a prototyping area. So this is probably fine. We were testing our game functionality over here. So we have our 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 shooters, our scoreboard, and that sort of stuff, which will later move up to the main attraction up here and integrate it with the world when we're ready. So that's that's one thing. Um, we have a Alyssa bamboo garden <laughs> in the middle of the map. Some rando <laughs> trees sitting out here. Oh, yeah, uh, we do need to clean that, that up built. a bit. I got a, a, a bird kind of peeking off this uh, pedestal here. So I mean, he's necessary. Are... The bird has okay. to stay. The bird is staying. Um, we've got some trees that are experiencing some odd mm. glitteriness. So there's probably some overlapping um, things inside there. That aren't so, allowed? Uh, we can't do that? The, they can overlap, but if they're really close or they overlap, like the exact same space they will can you guys see the glittering yeah of it? we can yeah so it's like trying to draw two of them at the same time and it can't quite get the i guess like the um in the 2d world you'd say like the z index is like identical so they're kind of like fighting to see who gets to get drawn so we need to like figure out what's going on with them and break them apart so what i do is come down whoops and kind of organize these with uh, some of the assets here. So we've got a trees section. So I might bring these down here so I can work on them separately from the rest of the world. Okay. And then uh, we have some other trees here. We've got a random leaf <laughs> that's sitting here. He can be deleted. I think, yeah, I think I had some random assets that just need to be cleaned up. We did animate some leaves at one time. Mm, and then we got mm -hmm. we have some other trees here too, so we should probably so do move the forest to the sub level is what you're saying. Yeah, see <laughs> that one? Ooh, there's a good example. So this one, you don't quite see the there it goes. There's kind of mm. that that weird haziness. When I move it, there's there was two. Oh my god, there's two in there. There were two. We don't need them. <gasps> go away. And we have one of these down there, so we don't need that one either. You can go away. So there we go. I don't know if they've performance tuned this or something recently, but it feels a lot smoother 
mm. uh, like than it did before. Yeah. yeah, those can be deleted too. Yeah, for sure. I can't select them. <laughs> Are they locked? Uh, can see. you unlock them? I can't touch them. I don't know what's going on. Let me try. Maybe go so go down to the tree, like that big one that you moved, and yeah. ungroup everything, and maybe that will let you. Maybe but they should, even if they're in a group, they should be selectable. Some, yeah. Alyssa, what did you do? <laughs> um, I, I broke the game with a tree. I blame Eddie. JavaScript for that. I don't know. <laughs> like that rando just blocks floating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just some basic cleanup is like what we need. I don't know what this is all about. Um, those those may just be permanently there forever no uh, no let's try no. <laughs> so let's try some troubleshooting on this no <laughs> let's try going to the script section what this can do is it can pause the game so we'll mm. pause the game oh there they go they went away so they, went, oh, so they weren't really there scripty, move them here so maybe if i hit play do they show back up they do not so something scripted them to move here at one point and that is now good to go so there that worked so that's a handy tip for folks that are trying this out hit the stop button up there if there's something that you just can't quite get your finger on literally or figuratively that might help and why is there a green block in the middle i don't know so so far we're, we're looking a little better right yes yes but do we want to move bamboo to trees as well or no uh yeah so we've got different varieties of bamboo now because we had a challenge um why don't we take like i kind of like the the whole like mm -hmm. the clump pile the clump so we can it's just grabbing the, the clump. clump that's tricky yeah so there's two ways to do that as well um so there's the drag method i showed you i was kind of doing that that, that yeah. works uh, this is a little bit more risky because you can inadvertently grab other stuff. But if you hold the button, see the two plus and minuses that come Oh, and up? make your circle massive. You go, yeah. Big, and then shoo, grab that whole thing. And then we can group that. And then we can move it down To do it? Here. Is it done? Oh. Now we have our, our clump. And we have our single bamboo as well uh and we've got the tree with all the the bits just the bit the bits floating <laughs> we'll have to clean that guy up soon yes out what's going on there yes a very nice looking set of trees though <laughs> that Alyssa made <laughs> that are glitching uh, which, all over the place <laughs> <laughs> they're glitchy but they're 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 better looking than the one i made so I think <laughs> at some point we wanted to like cross pollinate breeds yes yeah. Cross pollinate the plants. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have some architectural stuff too. So let's do this. Uh, we have trees. Let's make a copy of our, uh, our block of text. Okay. Oh no, the text is gone. It won't select the text. There it goes. And uh, we'll copy that very quickly. And just move it over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, let's see. We can make another section here. Another namespace or whatever you want to call it. Um, sometimes these are hard to select. And what you can do is just use the little expand thing. And uh, this is going to be... Um, we'll just call it props. They're just props to go put around. It's a little bit more generic. We could put some some more stuff here. And uh, we'll expand this out. Come on. Come, come on. Work with me. What is it doing? Grab. Stretch. There we go. So we can have more props for our map. So this will be like a little shop that we can come to and copy and paste things from. So I'm going to grab one of my archways. And if like, someone happens Oops. to fall through our map, they'll just land in the shop. And we'll be like, <laughs> welcome. Have a look around. The See anything you like? <laughs> so we could put stuff down here. Uh, let me grab this guy. Don't keep here. the... 
<laughs> you don't don't keep, keep the it. embarrassing pose. No, compared to yours, <laughs> like don't even do it. Just don't do it. So, for for new viewers, we found out that we have a very good mesh of uh, complementary skills here. So, this is Alyssa's uh, like man made architecture here, and uh, mine won that competition. Yeah. And then this is the organic section of the competition. <laughs> and my tree was not up to snuff with the um with Alyssa's trees. It's so, let's just Alyssa say if there's our... anything like man made and it needs to actually be level, then Ed should build it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if it's uh like if it's a man made structure, if it is architecture, mm -hmm. that seems to be my my uh kind of expertise and are you gonna Alyssa, are you gonna duplicate the the temple um we might eventually well i mean i just it's meant like for yet, your prop yeah. section like how what what all goes in your library uh it depends on what you're using it's it's completely up to you so our temple is kind of a big centerpiece i don't know if we'll ever copy it duplicate it exactly okay yeah. But I would I would suggest doing it when something is more complete. So right now it's just kind of a stack of white bricks. Um, I don't know if I would copy that. At That's the so rude. I love our temple. Gosh, it could use some <laughs> windows and doors, and just stuff. So, yeah. Um, I might prefab like some sets of like like bricks and stuff like that as well. Or some tr like little shrubberies, shrubberies. Um, you, you, hopefully you're a Monty Python fan and you know what I'm talking about with shrubberies. Uh, um, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, like when's uh, the last time you actually watched Monty Python? Oh, it's probably been about five years, I think. Uh, so I think your I, memory. I, I torture like one excellent. of the, yeah, torture one of the children every time they're like of an age where they may get some of the jokes. So, yeah, that that happened a couple of years ago. Um, <laughs> what's funny is like I watch all these like geek culture shows and stuff, and uh, my oldest daughter, she she really liked watching these things with me. So we'd watch like Monty Python, Idiocracy, like all mm. these geeky shows, mm -hmm. and then she would go to school and like you know reference one of these reference like, movies them, yeah, or something. yeah and uh i think she was in class one day and uh the science teacher said electrolytes and she's like oh my god it's says, what plants crave it's what plants crave and like i guess she kind of blurted that out in front of the class and everybody oh looked god. at her like she was from another planet <laughs> nobody got came, it nobody, nobody got it oh god <laughs> so she comes home she's like I, I love our I love our movie time, Dad. But like nobody else watches what we watch. <laughs> it's like <laughs> nobody got what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in moving all these uh, items, I found two just like random scripts. Like, just are those the scripts here. from my tree that broke and got disconnected? Yeah. Yeah. So these we can put them down here. We may end up deleting those. But I think they tie to these floating clumps yeah. of leaves. Yeah. Um, it don't... was a fun experiment. Uh, I just don't understand how built. it got dis... Like, because I, I just tried to group the tree. And maybe this is what you're talking about with the bugs and the grouping. Because I just tried to group the tree so I could move it out of the way. And I, it, like, broke its... It broke its animation that we had added. Yeah. So I don't... I think it has something to do with how things are referenced. So... Uh, remember, like we had the set of plugs to like plug things in. I'll pull it up mm -hmm. here in a second. I'm trying to fix my um, controllers here. I had the little wrist guards, like just dangling, and they're annoying me. So I had to move those. <laughs> uh, so the the little wrist strap things are handy if you're like playing fast games. You don't want to throw your controller across <laughs> the room. I mean, the but, the uh, you've got the the ones that I have that like tie around your hand. I thought oh, yeah, that is these. the thing that's like supposed to stop from, you know, hurling yeah. things. <laughs> so here, let's, uh, let me show these real quick. So what Alyssa's talking about is I've got these like ninja grips here. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, they're they're great for like beat saber and like boxing games and stuff yeah but they're kind of awkward i feel like the angle's awkward for like like horizon specifically because it's great for like you said beat saber where you like really don't want to throw your your controller but like it's i don't know just the way it makes you grip it's just i find it awkward does it not make you grip it at an odd angle um i've got these to where they're fairly loose so oh, they don't, they mine are like tight. crazy tight. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. So I also have uh, weights that I put on my arms sometimes. Oh my to, God. Uh, yes. A little more workout. My husband like, bought us <laughs> little, yeah, hand weights or arm weights. So Yeah. So mine are like a pound and a half, I think. It's not a lot, but it's enough yeah, to like. It's it's a lot a if you play more. for like any amount of time because then you're, you're like, yeah. oh, dear Lord. <laughs> So the the grouping thing, let's see if I can select this block here, but I'll show you. Oh my gosh. This is the weird part. Like you're always waving your hands in this, like trying to get I think I think we want I think the audience wants you no one said anything, but I think they want you to put um the weights on. <laughs> <laughs> I think you want me to put the weights on. <laughs> I'm I'm just you struggle. To, just trying. Like get a workout while you're scripting. You, like uh, like oh 10 my pounders God. just like yes the, we can uh, we can call uh, it like our next stream we need to call it arm day and both of us should put on our weights <laughs> uh, oh my gosh yes yeah, get Beautiful. our cardio while we code <laughs> like some people i know like will like legit have their laptop on their treadmill and like yeah no yeah yeah i don't know how or they that, do have that. you seen I those amazon like cycling that. desks yeah, yeah, where you, yeah. you know, like have pedals under your uh, chair. Yes. Kind of like pedal while you work. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that I could probably do. I don't think I could do the whole like standing and moving uh, <laughs> and typing. I don't think I could keep steady enough. I I have a hard enough time like pointing at things as it is, it, especially if I'm using a magic mouse because that thing is terrible at pointing. Okay, listen up. I know it's you terrible. hate the magic mouse, but. It's so wonderful. Trash. I will teach you the ways. I will teach you it the is. ways of the magic mouse. There's so Hot many garbage. times with my PC mouse that I try to, there's like gestures on the magic mouse, like a trackpad. And like the other day I was like trying to gesture on my PC mouse. And I was like, I don't actually know how to open this thing without this gesture. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh, look at all those wires. Look at yeah. all those so wires. This is what I think gets messed up when you group something is if you are referencing something and then you group it, it changes the object to a new object. So if I, for example, had a oh. bird here and then I grouped like a flock of birds, it is no longer a bird. It's a flock of birds. And then that oh. object reference gets broken. No. So yeah. how do you, so you just have like a, if it has a script, no grouping or group before you add a script, like, yeah, so what you could do is if you need to group something that has uh, or script with something that's already grouped, yes. what you want to do is focus on the group. So there's a focus function in here under properties. So if I wanted to change something script-wise with, say, just that green block in this uh, group, you would go into this button and notice the world goes dark except for this. So then you can go in and change little bits within that script. So like see the you can see the barrel here now that I'm I'm zoomed in on this. But um I I wouldn't want to change it in this mode because it breaks up. Mm, okay. So it's it's very nuanced and picky and I feel like I'm gonna bump into something, so I'm gonna move up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh I've got a mat down here too, that you can't see, but it helps me like figure out where i am speaking of like organization so like in the real world i have a yoga mat under my feet so mm -hmm. if i step off the yoga mat i know i've got a shelf i'm going to run into and if i go too far forward i know my pc is there plus you get like the guardian boundaries which don't show up on stream so there's like a, a virtual cage i'm in <laughs> that you don't see because you draw one or is it like a the cylinder thing the circle the like uh i know? have the drawn one the okay. stationary one i i feel like doesn't lock your arms enough and i've hit my monitor with the stationary on 
So it, it doesn't come up fast enough for some reason. I think it's a little more, I think it's meant to be seated than it is standing. Um, and I, I tend to run into stuff with that on. So we need to clean up the tree glob. And is this one tree or is it two trees? It is we one tree. It. it is one tree. It looks you, you know, like that one, you two, know, that. No, no. You know that forest that's like the biggest living organism on earth and it's like just miles and miles of different tr like trees it looks like, but they found out like underneath it's all one root system. This is what I went for. This is okay. the, the, the mega manga yeah, tree I like, gave you. you get like very like <laughs> metaphysical or something like that. <laughs> See, we've got some duplication oh, going on no! here. Oh, no! Oh, the shame of it all. Oh, my Blip. gosh. How embarrassing. Blip. Oh, my. Oh, no. How many are there? Blip. <laughs> Please tell me. No, that means the trunks are the same. I think that it's duplicated in the duplicate. So the same with, like, the tiny assets. Oh, my gosh. What did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> you are a tiny asset. <laughs> Aren't you taller than me? called me something like that. <laughs> So we've got we've got a fun scenario at home. I know you have a little sister. Little or big, right? Little? Little, little two little sisters. So we we have uh since the pandemic, uh all of the whoops. Wait, is that okay, that's part of the trunk. We have the uh all of the four sisters getting back together after not seeing each other for um yes. about a year. Yeah. Or more, actually. And uh the younger ones are still, you know, growing very quickly. <laughs> so the, the, the oldest is 24. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she is, you know, just by default, the tallest. But, um, you know, the little ones are catching up behind the scenes while she's not here. So she's going to have like a big surprise when she like comes home and uh, discovers that all her sisters are, are eye level now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is going to be so trippy. Yeah. Are those, yeah, those so, glowing little assets, are they duped as well? Uh, I don't think so. Mm. Oh, they are. Look at that. <laughs> my shame. My shame knows no bounds. <laughs> we should just call this show Cleaning Up After Alyssa. <laughs> I'm sure Turtle knows all about that. Oh, he does. He does. It's actually funny. He's taught the two-year-old. Well, I don't know if he taught the two-year-old to do this. He he was been doing it since he could walk at one. He goes around after me and closes cabinets because I leave all the cabinets and drawers open. And the baby oh, is literally technique. waddling behind me, closing them. He's even so bad to where like I'm cooking him like breakfast and he'll come and close something that I'm in, like the fridge. And I'm like, baby, I'm in this <laughs> trying to get eggs out. And he's like, close. And I'm like, baby. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like OCD about like doors being open. I like all yeah. the kind of doors closed. That's one of your things. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my things. So like I'm I'm the one that does that, but my wife's like the more tidy, organized person. So it's mm. kind of funny. She's the one that doesn't care about that so much. But uh, she is a neat freak to the point where I've worked on projects and she's thrown away pieces of the project as I'm like working on it. Oh no. Like yeah, pieces so. that you needed. <laughs> right. So like I was fixing the rearview mirror on the car, like this is when we like I want to say first got married, but it's been, it probably was in the first five years. So like I'm fixing the the mirror and I get, I go in the house and I take the package off the like replacement mirror. And there's like, there's like a little doodad, to like stick it on the window. There's a packet of glue. There's the new mirror. There's like screws. And I go out to the car to like get the old mirror taken off. And I come back and like all the like doodads are gone. <laughs> And she had thrown them all in the trash. Did you find them? And no, I could not find them. They were like buried underneath of like nasty like kitchen trash. And I never oh, did find them. I was so no. mad. I was like, why would you do this to me? Why? <laughs> and of course, she's heard this story a million times. 
Oh, even these are dupes. Got, I told dupes. you, man. It's all it's all turtles all the way down. Oh my. I think that is that everything? Did I get them all? Did you you did check all of the 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 plumpy clumps? Yes. Oh my god, the the so. the animation's working? Why is the animation working now? <laughs> I don't Seriously. Know. It wasn't working because I ungrouped it. Now. That's why I ungrouped it. Remember, I grouped it. I didn't I think it would it, go. It I didn't working. think it would go back to working. Oh, I just thought it would serious? be permanently just disconnected. Seriously, oh, yeah. I got to prove this. I feel like I'm a arborist here. <laughs> hey, hey, Aztec. I just wanted you to get your gardening skills in your virtual gardening skills. It's good to see you, darling. We are cleaning up and organizing our assets. Um, Apparently, the assets. <laughs> oh, Aztec said that he took um, bamboo picks while in Hawaii. Oh, cool. Oh, so Is jealous. there Wait. embedded? Oh my gosh, really? You can't see these. <laughs> Why are they even in here? They're <laughs> <laughs> they're inside the tree and they're I, duplicated like they were uh, in it like you can't okay see them so in here's it. what you need to do you need to move the the treetop <laughs> you move the treetop and then you will see <laughs> let's do this let's go properties yes. oh uh, what are you ah. gonna make it properties um visible off bloop Oh no! Wait, oh no! Does that mean there's another one? Oh, okay. Wait. So, I could see inside of it. Now. Oh my god! There's this duplicate blocks of everything. Wait, it was so, a, it, okay. It was a rush. It was a challenge, and I did duplicate the trees because I was trying to make more. And then I didn't. You know how sometimes with the dupe tool it duplicates and you don't realize it does. So then it was yes, like nestled inside of each other. So I did that, and then that's why all these tiny things you're finding out. I, I accept your excuse because it is a valid one. It does happen. <laughs> it's definitely a thing. <laughs> There are a lot of these. So there, there's a good reason behind why I'm doing this, though. Because if I pull up my menu. Well, because we don't want to use world, the jank tree everywhere that has dupes and dupes that no one can even see. Like, that's no bueno. So there is a bar here called geometric complexity, which is at 40%. And if we have, like, all of these duplicate shapes that are not even useful to the world that the user can't see, and then I duplicate this clump of trees as an asset everywhere yeah. it's going to go up like pretty linear and uh we're just duplicating you know excess code for example that doesn't run so this is this is going to eat up our our budget if we don't go in here and prune these trees up so we want to get these duplicates and this i believe is inside of that block we won't even see yeah <laughs> So this whole group of stuff here can go. So we want to be, um, it's it's fine to be like messy when you're prototyping like Alyssa said, we were doing a challenge when we did this. So we built these in what, five minutes? Yeah, it was a very small amount of time. It was a five minute challenge to create these trees. So the, this is the... Uh, <laughs> and I think it was our first is, challenge. So I really had no, I, I was like throwing shapes and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh cleanup after the disaster <laughs> so i think i got all the ones that were like internally embedded in that one but what i'm afraid of is there's probably another one up here yeah that's very oh. similar yeah you're it's, like don't do it i'm don't, like it's definitely it. it's 100 percent gonna be there um did i already get this one can't tell. I think I did. Okay, so these are okay, and I don't see anything inside of the square here. So the toggling the visibility actually helps here to see if there's shapes underneath that are, are not in use. Well, I think we have like one of the animated leaves stuck. Where it yeah, can't properly, there's something like, weird. Yeah, fall and animate. Oh, is it falling? I'm confused. They're kind of like plumping onto the, the top of the tree. Probably, oh, there were duplicates of them too. So I'd probably get rid of one of those. 
and then take this one and move it to where it can fall properly. Is it is it working? Is it falling? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. It's not reaching good, the good. ground, though. Oh, there it goes. All right. And then there's one up here, too. Actually. That guy you need to make less... invisible. Okay. I'm going to go down to the top here. Whoa, I okay, just got new zits. <laughs> oh, oh yay! Much debris here. I'm looking. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking for the here. pictures. Ah! Okay. Ah! Aztec sent us pictures Yourself. of the bamboos. I'm looking at them right now. Oh, I guess I could screen share. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I'm going to take over really quick. I want to share everything. Just share it all. Are they bamboo <laughs> Okay, so here is the pictures. I'm going to make it full screen. Oh, my gosh. First of all, wow. Wow. Just stunning. Where, where were these things? Bamboo. He said Hawaii. Oh, very cool. Nice. When were... Sounds when like did a good this, trip there. Yeah, here's bamboo hicks I took on vacation, the temple where I took them from. It It's the weirdest bamboo. Like... It's yeah, very tree-like bamboo because in Florida we had this bamboo that we we were oh, wow, battling yeah. in our in our yard, and it was like battling. very twiggy, like Not tall, skinny bamboo. And this bamboo is more like like actual trees. Like I didn't even know bamboo did this. It's very aggressive very, bamboo. I'm trying to line myself up here. Um, yeah, that's cool. What? I gotta add you back. I'm adding you back. Yeah, we, I actually, I, I have a little baby bamboo in my front yard. It's a different kind. It's um, you watch out. You think you have a baby bamboo, and then you wake up one day and you don't have a baby bamboo. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what this one's a different. I don't know if it's the same like species as regular bamboo. It's like little tiny thing, and it doesn't get like a couple feet tall, and it doesn't propagate itself. Oh, okay. So, okay. It's just that a was bush. that was not my experience. We were like, oh yeah, let's leave this bamboo in our side yard. It's super cute. And then it was just like whole yard, whole yard is bamboo. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's everywhere. <laughs> Let me guess this was in Florida, right? Yeah, it was. How yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Florida known for its bamboo problems. <laughs> uh my mom has them. Uh they won't grow here in Kentucky, not not these oh. kind of bamboo like that we have here or the ones you pictured from Hawaii. It's mm -hmm. too cold too cold mm -hmm. here for that. So the uh, the one that I bought, like I said, it may it may not even be in the same family. It's just maybe bears a resemblance to bamboo, so they call it that. I but, want a picture, uh, Ed. I need a picture of your baby bamboo. My baby bamboo. Your baby bamboo. It, it, it's in its uh growing mode right now. So You're saying you um, don't want to show it off. It's not. It's no, not it, worth it. I could show it off. It's okay. uh, <laughs> kind of kind of homely, but hey, it it's doing its best. It needs a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to go to COVID glitz and get a haircut. Okay, so see how those petals are like at knee level. That's because when I made the tree, it was like stuck in the ground that deep. So just. Oh, okay. That's so that's why everything's extend... jacked. They it, it was. It was extending into the ground. The height was like a foot lower. Cool. And these are the ones that fall. These are kind of cool. I like the effect. I and love that. that. One, I, think, I freaking this, love that effect. I accidentally like colored this one. So again, I want to stop the world mm. so I can get a hold of that one that I colored by accident. Stop animating. There. And I want to go back and borrow a color. So I want my paintbrush, and then I want to tap the eyedropper. Oh my gosh, you're so fancy! Paint the. Did I grab the right pink? Why is it? You might like? have, but it's probably because the texture, the material is different. But I have different petals and different things that are because see how okay. want the glow and the. You got the glow fancy on me. Okay. Yeah. It, oops. Let's see here. And, <laughs> Seeing your little uh, hands in VR is funny. <laughs> so, like I, I don't know if I said this before, but like in, if we we do like uh, meetup 
type things on here every once in a while. What I yeah. like to do is use my fancy little uh, uh, like holders and then go like this when <laughs> when we're just like standing around. So I look like I'm absolutely insane in VR. Mm. <laughs> You can't do that with hands in real life. It just doesn't. I mean, work. it doesn't work the same way. It's just not as fun. <laughs> it's not as fun. Not as fun. Mm. Okay, show us. Okay, so what do uh, I don't know? Mm. Problem. How do we group my tree without breaking the crap out of it? Okay, so that is technical terminology, by the way. That is the <laughs> official. Like, if you're doing VR, like, that, that is a thing. Like, break the crap out of something is, it's like, a good good explanation. Oh uh, uh, we've got another gray leaf. I think I started painting stuff by accident while I was doing this. No, I had, oh, wait, gray, maybe. I had that mauve no, mauve color I saw. I saw, I did it to something else while I was working on it. <laughs> you're, like, over here just splotching things randomly. <laughs> yeah. So what we want to do is select, uh, we could be careful like this and kind of select these and group that. Uh, this is locked, by the way. If you see a red bounding box, it means it's locked. We need to unlock that. Um, and then, actually, I probably want to lock it while I'm doing these. So I'll do like some of the details on the outside. Boom, boom, boom. boom. And then group those. And that'll just make them easier to manage. And what we don't want to group is the animated one. Because that, I think, will break the animation. We can try it and see what it does. So we'll go around and... So you're saying, like, when these. we duplicate these, it's going to be more difficult than we think? Like, we're not going to be able to just grab the tree and duplicate it. We have to grab the tree and make sure we're grabbing the petals, too. Like, there's no way to group it without maintaining... Oh, we can. We can. I'm getting there. Oh, so okay, what I'm going to cool. do is group these. And it will keep the grouping order. So if I group these and then I go in here and group like this. Uh, You're saying it will have a group within a group? Yeah. Okay. Did I manage to get them all? Group. There we go. So now it should be that clump. There we go. So that has grouped. You now, took I a think... top off. Bloop! <laughs> We're live on stream. I took my top off. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to group the animated one in, in like this, and we'll see if it animates after. And it looks like it's broke. So... See, the animation changed. It's just kind of like fluttering like in place. It's not falling anymore because we made it. We don't like see it fluttering. I just see it sitting don't? there. Oh, no, there it is. Now it is. I see. Yeah, it's it's not falling. It's it's What I think it's done here is if we look at the properties for the group, uh, the motion is not... Uh, it, uh, if we look at it alone, I think it has gravity. Um. So I think you can have it to not it have to... gravity and be in a group. So what we have to do is I think we have to go into the group and then select it like <laughs> this. And then no, see, it has physics. But it's even though it has physics, like its group doesn't. So it gets kind of weird like that. So that can't be part of our group. Okay. At least that's so, what I've found out. Like I may be doing it wrong. That's so here's what I think do. we should do. I think we should have the tree and it's grouped and it is the tree. And then we should have a library of different petals and you can you know like you can like go and like duplicate the petal and add it to a tree if you make one. And that yeah, way they're not probably because right now, if you grab this, I don't know if you're going to be able like to know how many petals you're grabbing, or so I think There's the petals a pile have to of them just falling right here too. I know that doesn't. So we could do that, and Gosh, oh yeah, that's because we had one where there was like a clump of three or something. So we'll move that guy over. No, so there's this is still duplicate. 
there's there's a pile. <laughs> there's still leaves falling. Jeez, how many of these <laughs> do we have? I've, um, I, oh, were those duplicated as well? Yeah, I think that's what the problem is here. So what we need to do is pause our level again. Mm. And um, we need to go, oops, go in here to properties and make this invisible for a minute. I don't understand why that, it doesn't actually make it invisible until you do it twice. I think I'm double tapping it. It's kind of like a, a toggle box, like a... It's, uh, Your mom's those... a toggle box. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, is, we're going for your mama jokes on this show? <laughs> Stoop to a new level. <laughs> you're facing the wrong way, bro. But you're like really close to the camera. I don't oh, know I, if you uh, Yeah, I don't want you to punch your desk if you turn. <laughs> let's see. Let's try That's this. That's better. And then... <laughs> we'll uh, so you can see like... I thought I paused the level. Did I not pause the level? Stop it. There we go. That's better. Yeah, we've so, got yeah, there, there was. There's too many Duplicates petals within petals. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, I think these are something we want to add kind of ad hoc. Like, Hey, Salt. Good to see you. In, in. in fact, just going to delete some of them. Sorry I didn't reply to your angular physical book question on Twitter. You stumped me. <laughs> I'm like, physical he wanted book? to know a good physical book for beginners in angular. And I was like, I just, the word thought, physical book yeah, I, I was like, trying to get a, 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 a angular physical like <laughs> but this was like something you have to take before you're allowed to go to gym class i'm like you want a book you can hold i was i was confused <laughs> yeah, i'm Who confused so you, you, have... you want a thing that's not in virtual world like you want, you want... A, pay, a piece of pay... you want a paper you want a murder a tree <laughs> a tree so you can learn about <laughs> angular you don't yeah. care about the planet do you i, I mean do you, you do know that like they update the version like every six months <laughs> oh poor chris he's like, <laughs> shat on here like he said a binding wrong. collection of paper with graphics okay so i will be real honest i bought there's called like the angular book and i bought like two different <laughs> versions of it um and it, i mean this thing's massive she's like a, to a tome like she's thick and um i never used it it just sat there on the shelf so i stopped buying those and i'll like i will pay for like pdfs now or i'll do courses online if i want to learn something new but like i just i never actually use the physical book i know some people learn that way i'm not no. those people <laughs> i'm not either <laughs> i'm not those people like <laughs> oh god no. For those people, I have. I think I have an Encyclopedia Britannica I can lend you. Oh my god! <laughs> no, uh, on a serious note, I'm I'm being so like <laughs> terrible right now. Um, on a serious note, uh, Todd Motto's got fantastic courseware. If you want to watch videos, if you mm. like videos. Okay. So Ravi Veliat, very not as well known as someone like Todd Motto, but I kid you not, Ravi has a YouTube channel where he covers like. He's just these like long format videos in Angular for beginners and then goes into more advanced. But like I when I first heard him like speak, I was like, I don't know if you've ever met a person where I kind of had this happening in college, like when I was first learning Angular and I like wired up the front end of my Angular app and I was like having trouble figuring out how to actually plug it into the logic on the back end. And so my my professor at the time, her name was Rachel, she came over and she opens up like my javascript file and she's like okay so we're gonna do this this and she's just looking at my ui but not actually looking at the markup and so she's like and we'd name i guess the variable this and then we do it like that and then she goes and refreshes and she goes oh i didn't mean to refresh it's not actually gonna work and it like all started working and she goes did we really like actually name every single one of these variables i like exactly the same and i was like oh my god and we were like screaming we're like it's weird so like i don't know if you've ever met a developer like that where you just mesh so well like your brains are just in sync but ravi for me the way he teaches and the way he describes things i'm just like oh my god yes now everything makes sense so um i will i will link him but he's got free youtube content so i'm all about that life oh yeah Bye. so i had that happen once um 
I was talking to, or I was doing uh, sessions about responsive web. So I was like talking about media queries and like how to adjust layouts, like different screen sizes and all that stuff. Yeah. And it was like a very detailed presentation I had built around this subject. And I went to a meetup and um, there was a, um, there was an accessibility uh, person there, um, L Waters. Uh, L Waters, fantastic uh, accessibility guru, by the way. And uh, we're we're sitting there having a beer and we're chatting, and this guy walks up and starts asking her about responsive web, and she's going through like my presentation verbally without ever <laughs> having seen it in her entire life. So I like happen to have my laptop there and i just like she pulled it up in. oh my god and i'm yes. like i'm going through the slides and she's like talking through the slides as if she wrote the presentation to like to the point where she even knows what the next slide is going to be without it being seen <laughs> and it was the weirdest thing like she's I, giving I my presentation if you've ever had that moment with like another human being you're like whoa our brains just like whoa <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was so cool. She was like, that was so weird, but it was so much fun. She's like, I can't believe that just happened. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, fantastic dev, by the way. If, uh, she doesn't what's do her, social, do you... social media and stuff so much. I don't think. Oh, okay. I was going to be like, L Waters. She does conferences and stuff still, I think. But um, if you see it's her hard. At a conference. It's hard to, yeah. I don't know, at least for some people like myself, I, uh, I like loved Twitter and I loved talking to my friends on there and then it turned into a job. And yes. now like it's like email for me. Like to go and read people's tweets and to go and like write my own tweets, it's like a chore. So for devs that have chosen the route to like really just not have a social media presence, I'm like more power to you. Like honestly because uh, sometimes it can be a life drain. I don't, some people, like I was talking to one of my friends uh, on our team, Ivana, and she's just, she, to the point where she has to have like rules about like, um, like, you know, scroll limits and time, windows of the day that she's allowed to be on there because some people just love it and like can live in it. And I'm like, wow, I am not those people. <laughs> I put it on there a little bit more than I care to admit. Yeah. And you don't find yeah. it daunting like honestly to like type in like twitter.com enter is like okay here we go <laughs> i don't I know i find it like my go-to news like resource oh yeah see i'm so not about like, the news life <laughs> what's happening in the world right now what are my stocks doing mm, i see what's what's the chatter i'm gonna pick up and the that's not and... stressful for you like to like check in on that no. stuff not really. Not unless my stocks are going to the toilet. <laughs> that might stress me out a little bit. <laughs> Yesterday was a green day, so I'm pretty happy. I haven't checked today, though. Thank it's you for pruning scurry. pruning my tree, by the way. It was... I I'm sorry. Got... Every time so you lift the I'll top off, I'm like, yeah. how risque. <laughs> I'm finding more groups here. So oh. now that I've got a big group, I can go props. Oh, the, someone just said invisible. something really mean in chat. Uh oh, <laughs> I can't even. It makes me want to cry. Oh. I found more duplicate items here, Alyssa. They said, <laughs> "Ed, what are you doing with that mushroom?" <laughs> the mushroom. Oh no! This is Alyssa's baby. Her tree. <laughs> That's my tree. That very clearly resembles a tree. <sighs> wow. I can't get to the settings. Window. Salt said something about Sterling Heights. Oh, living yeah. Living close that's, to it. Yeah, that's uh, where my daughter lives. In what so, state? Michigan. Michigan. Detroit. <laughs> the mushroom tree. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh. So I'm, I'm from close to there, and she moved up there. For her husband's job. So it sounds like Mr. Chris Mars is very close to my family up there. So like Salt, did you just do, I'm moving close there in a couple weeks. Oh, so you're about to do the move. 
Good luck, darling. Good luck. Yeah. Godspeed. My man's got a uh, new uh, new place he just bought. Just signed a, a lease or something like that, right? He said renting and Clinton Township. Is that like a neighborhood? Yeah, it's um, kind of not so much a neighborhood. It's like a city within a city, I guess you could say. They have these things in Florida too. So I yeah. don't know if they had them in Orlando, but yeah, like, no, I was really upset when I found out there weren't, there were parts that I was not allowed to live in because I wasn't old enough. I, I actually <laughs> threw a fit. My husband's like, we can't move in there. And I was like, excuse me, they're going to tell me I can't live there. And he's like, no, they're, they're, you're just not old enough. And I was very so, offended. Very be real with you. You don't want to <laughs> live there anyway. <laughs> You don't understand. There were people driving golf carts around the neighborhood. I wanted in on that action. <laughs> they do not like you. You. They I don't know why. They, they hate young people. They, they... <laughs> You're That's loud. Very... <laughs> You're too loud for them. You stay up past 7 o'clock at night. They don't very want you. You're offended. not welcome. <laughs> You're not welcome there. Seriously, I look forward to the day where I get to like go to bridge club and go to bed at 4 30 p.m. Like <laughs> these people hate children. <laughs> don't know why. They're like children are messy and loud. And I get that. I get that, but things are too quiet without them. Mm, now that I, you have like Mr. Milks, right? Could you imagine how quiet and boring your house would be? If he was not there. Oh, it's no, I, it very would be sad thing. Just life in general, not just the house. Like yeah. life would be quiet and boring. <laughs> so like some of ours have gotten old enough to move out. I'm like, oh man, it's, I don't know the deafening silence around here. If they're all gone, like if they go to friends' houses, I'm like, oh man, this sucks. Like, <laughs> You're like, I hello, think this is... hello. <laughs> yeah. Yes, salt. Yes, I shall teach you the angulars. We shall make components together into the sunset. Oh, these leaves got knocked off the tree. <laughs> That's Ed's getting a bit, a bit crazy with his pruning. <laughs> so I finally finished the tr the mushroom tree clump, which we will uh, we'll work on that. I think they those two trees need to get married next and make a healthy. Less mushroomy tree. The but, uh, less boxy. Mine's very boxy. Yours very mushroomy. So they, Not they a mushroom! Very... <laughs> <laughs> uh. I was so proud of that tree before this stream. At least it's not made of poop pillars. <laughs> oh my god, please don't show it. <laughs> you were supposed to delete it. Why is it over in the assets pile? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Um, I need to take this guy and oh, eat him before the, to... the leaves get thrown off into the ether again. Okay, so I think I've got the assets situated. Um, this one might need some pruning too. <laughs> we shall see. But I borrowed your leaves. Remember, I borrowed your leaves. Like this did this. This was a helpful asset because I used it to cross pollinate there. Um, <laughs> the poop pillar. <laughs> The poop pillar is still. It needs I to stay did, here. I did as a my reminder best. As a reminder, how far you've come. <laughs> uh, oh god. Okay, I really do want to tackle the rocks and like the foliage around the temple. The mm -hmm. Aztec said the hot dogs question mark, and I yeah. want you to tackle the actual like temple itself you know like like windows okay. and things yes yeah. i think i think that would be good that would be maybe we should do that like at the same time on a show mm -hmm. yes yeah so like oh while gosh, you yes. dress the bottom mm -hmm. i dress the top and uh it needs like some faux like doors and windows and maybe like a little rail around it and then you could do like some rock patterns and some bushes mm -hmm. and cover up some of the clumpiness at the bottom and uh, we'll make it look pretty legit okay so, so what's yeah. behind the temple right yeah, that 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 platform what do you think how do you 
because see how it's like ramp, ramp platform. Like, mm-hmm. how do you turn that into an actual level? Yeah, that's going to be a, a whole show. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the ramps will either get hidden beneath other assets. Like, we'll we'll take like the rocks and kind of like pile them to where this doesn't look just so blocky like a flat ramp. So we'll we'll kind of like stagger some different. Um, primitive shapes around it and give it kind of a sloped look. So, like, what I'd probably do, let's take this off for a second. Ooh, I'm grabbing way too much. Try it going from this direction. I'll take these for a minute and uh, let's go ahead and lock them so I don't accidentally select them. Lock. lock what are those called lock. again? Uh, I don't want to say that I know they're like temple pillars or temple okay. arches 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 in in the US they signify hamburgers I don't know what they the cultural reference is in Japan but it's not hamburgers Oh my god, you cracked me up so bad. Oh, can I just like share something disgusting and like it makes me so happy? What did you oh, do to the goodness. arches? I, I hid them momentarily. And yet their so shadows are still there. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Uh, that's because of baked lighting. We talked about that on a show. Uh, can, mm, I'm going to move uh, this down here for a minute. So. Salt said, when is the Oculus giveaway? <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Be like Elsa and let it go. Let it go. Um, let right. It go. Are we? Are you ready for my disgusting, exciting news? Uh, sure. Okay. I'm scared. This is a safe space. No judgment. The naked chicken chalupa is back. Uh, <laughs> my mind has gone <laughs> to places it shouldn't have. Explain uh, in context what a naked chicken chalupa is. Taco Bell! Why do you not know what this is? Gosh, Um, trying to teach you everything? Yes, it's without a shell. Salt is right. So, like, instead of having a chalupa shell, they take chicken and they make it into a shell shape and then they put lettuce and tomato in that. And it is. So they deep fry chicken until it's flavorless (laughs) and dry as a bone. (laughs) <laughs> like a taco shell. Am I getting this right? It's delicious. I love it. It's just so uh, high calorie. <laughs> let me ask a question. And please don't take any offense to this. What? Do you cook at home? Do we... Yes, I cook at home. What? Do you, do you cook well? Mm, that depends. I'm no Gordon Ramsay. Okay. So, Why? That I mean... explains a lot. What the? What do you even? <laughs> if if you consider Taco Bell good food to be excited about, then you might need to up your your kitchen skills a little bit. Wow. Okay, I cannot be the <laughs> only person on this there. show that will defend Taco Bell. Like, I can't be okay. the only one. <laughs> You, this was the point in the conversation where you're supposed to throw back the White Castle conversation we had the week prior. Oh, right. That's assuming I have the memory call I'm, for it. Um, I'm not I'm not all high and mighty here. I like White Castle, so. Salt wants to know if you submitted to KCDC. I did not because it is in person and I'm not doing in-person things yet. Is it? Shut up. I am not ready for that. Wait. I'm looking. Maybe I will be soon, but not yet. So I did not. Like, when is it? So, in person, when? Um, I think it's in August, ain't it? Uh, I think this says September 15th. Interesting. September. Okay. Yeah, maybe. It's I don't know. It's, interesting. Yeah, it's too much travel for for this stuff yet. I, I'm, I'm waiting to see how people behave yet. So, like, this is just, like, a dumbed-down version of what I'd try to do with this, but I'd start, like, weaving in different assets here to make it more um, blended into the rest of the map. 
Dude. Uh, uh, thank ACDC, you. ACDC, by the way, fantastic conference. I have nothing against it. It's just... Uh, Thanks for bringing it to people. my attention, Saul. I didn't know about it. I will absolutely submit. I'm getting into workshops. So maybe you and I in September, Ooh. beginner Angular workshop. And then you can like like correct my CSS while I'm teaching the <laughs> Angulars. It'd be perfect. So <sighs> you could you can like kind of mesh things in. Like I'd fill this in to where it's nice and smooth, and then. But then, like, do you like, color the ramp? Yeah. Like, I'm talking about like the, the yes, actual surface absolutely. of that the walking on happens. The walking upon. How, what do you? Yeah, so you could do just like grab a color. Ooh, connect tech. Connect grab a color already. Tech. I can't get the color I want for November. Oh, I have it locked. Atlanta. That's why. I remember good salads in Atlanta. Oh, that's just <laughs> that's that's your memories of Atlanta's salads. I'm gonna let you know a little secret. My memories of every place I travel is salad, whether it was a good salad food or a related. bad salad. <laughs> Mine are very much food related, so I, I can't touch the menu here. What's going on? There. Ah! Yeah. Oh no! But if you're gonna if you're gonna talk okay. salad. Like, you have to yeah. go to Bulgaria. Like, Bulgaria is, like, where the salad is at. Are you serious? Like that's... Oh, Are you serious? Yes. Oh. oh. Okay, this so might, I really need you to be traveling. Me, I don't like this. You don't like this? No. Go. I want to get in there and do something organic. Stop doing the organic, damn okay. you. We'll do this do next something, week. Do something... So, I would go it? with troubles, like, like uh -huh. this. Well, and er, eh, yeah, but for so, the top of it, you would even pebble the top of it, or do you leave the top flat? Um, Salt says the stream keeps freezing for him. I hope that's a you thing and not an us thing. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe one of our. Well, if it's the whole stream, then it's possibly a him thing because uh, we are on different networks. So if it was my home network, like I'd be freezing and you wouldn't. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here's something I would probably use. It's more like like a pebbly approach. I yeah, I think better. Taco Bell is my my White Castle. You know, the thing that you shouldn't like, but you do like it. Yeah, guilty pleasure, of yes. course. Yes. So, like this is the thing about like prim primitive shapes. Like it's just a circle. But if I make it gray in the context of Facebook Horizon... It looks like a rock. If I make it green, it looks like a bush. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I know, and they're all like mushroom, and I'm like, there's a tree. <laughs> so, Aztec yeah, said, I'm but you cake. should like White Castle. That's cute. I need to try it first. I will get back to you after I visit Ed, and he takes me to a White Castle. We will stream it, actually. I've always That's wanted to do a mukbang. Fun. Me and Ed will do a mukbang on stream with White Castle. I'm just so. I don't. I don't know. We have to ask um, uh, Sarah if she will uh, expense a uh, business trip for you to come to Kentucky to experience White Castle. Yeah. Is that a thing? Is that like a legit like expense? Um, I don't think there's. Would you stop doing organic? But see what I'm trying to do with the I hiding. See, the, the but edges. you're you're hiding the edge. You're not the top of it. Isn't. The top. The top is the question. I get you can pebble the sides. But are you saying, oh, the sides are pebbled, so all of a sudden no one knows it's a ramp? Well, it becomes a lot less apparent that it's a ramp. And then, of course, you can put stuff on here as well. to make. Would they walk more... through it, or do they, like, walk on it? How does the physics walk. work? Uh, so that's kind of weird. Uh, well, first of all, you have no legs. <laughs> So you kind of hover over everything. I'm sorry. Every time you look at your lower half, it just cracks me up. <laughs> so if you saw somebody else going up here, they're floating anyway. They're so just it doesn't floating. Really matter. But it um, doesn't like, I, does it make your view pop up a bit if you go on the rocks? Yeah. Like, do you notice like elevating a little bit? Or yeah. Not? You kind of get stuck a little bit. So what you can do is you can, if you're, if this is like blocking <laughs> the user from like going where you want them to go. What you can do is make a invisible ramp on top of the rough surface. Oh, to make it smooth. 
I gotcha. <laughs> so I then gotcha. they're walking, they're levitating on an invisible ramp they can't see, and then it looks like <laughs> lumpy ground beneath them, but it, they're not like bumpy to bump, bump, bump. Okay, we need to talk real quick before we like do a wrap of future streams, things that we need to do. I want to have a functionality challenge when I have had time to study up. Uh, we mm -hmm. need to do a temple temple time. I don't know what to call it. We need to do uh, like a – like what do you call like when you're doing the ramps and the flooring? Like is that all separate pieces to you or do you go in and in one day make the floor look legit? I work in sections. So like I was working over here on this. I'd finish this out. And then okay. kind of okay. organically connect it to here somehow and then mm -hmm. just keep moving through until okay. I've kind of circled all the way back. Do you think we so can dual I, stream? I don't think we can dual stream. Can we dual stream? Yeah, we no, can. we can't. Two How? streams? No, but you can work together though. You can be in the same level doing stuff. Right. No, I was saying like once I get on my PC like and share, we can't have two screen shares going at once. Yeah, of think. course we can. Mm -hmm. With StreamYard, it lets you do two at once? Not at the same time, but we can toggle back and forth. Oh, toggle back and forth. Okay. And if, uh, when you get connected to your PC, you'll see, like, you can't, let me see if I can try this real quick. Hang on. Maybe I did this before and we couldn't see. Um, if I do stop screen share, share screen desktop, you'll see hollow mirrors for a minute. Um, so I've got, this window on my desktop here is what I'm sharing. So this is the BR uh, window. Everything makes sense. Okay. So that's what I'm actually screen sharing. So essentially you would have one down at the bottom of StreamYard that you could toggle um, and just add and remove like that. So you can't share more than one screen, but if you shared a screen and I shared a screen, uh, we can hot swap them. And since I'm in... I'm able to see my desktop from VR. I can actually go in and, and toggle these. Uh, so I can interact. Like I can change our order and everything right here in VR. So, okay. So to finish our game, mm -hmm. we need to finish the floor, temple time. I think we have a koi pond thing that we wanted to do. Koi pond. Uh, our scoreboard needs some work because right now everything is scoring together and we need yes. like two separate scoreboards. But then not only that, we need to like bring the scoreboard onto the map. Yeah. But then there's, there's too. a whole other, designed. there's a whole other side of, there's, there's a thing we're missing where like, where do the players start? Is there a time limit? How how does the actual yeah. game function? That whole part, like that, I'm like, I don't even, I don't even know where to. That's yeah, I don't know where to start yet either. We need to do like a timer, and then the timer needs to kind of orchestrate like. I'll, I'll when list the game that one. Start and end. It's gonna like... get, it's gonna ramp up in difficulty pretty fast. I think once we get everything built, I think we need to build like the basic stuff without the timer yeah. and all that, yeah. then build the level and okay. then build the, like the real meat of like the timer and how it like orchestrates when the game starts and ends. So uh, yeah, ends. there'll be a couple episodes then on just game mechanics. I think Yeah. Um, the yeah. Aztec said that you could cast her view and your view on the same desktop and then stream a view of both. If your system's beefy enough. Uh, it might be. I'm going to try to run something. If I start getting like sketchy and off like stream, like if my video goes out, I will be back shortly. I'm going to try to pull up um, um, Half Life Alex so you can see okay. what it looks like. Yes. Uh, currently, your graphics driver has a known issue that can lock your PC with this version. Oh, okay. That's cool, but I'm not installing drivers on the air. <laughs> so it will have to uh, wait. So I have to wait for this to load. It's very processor intensive, so it's possible I get kind of janky for a minute. But it is well worth it. This game is amazing. So I just want to show you what like real, real VR looks like. So like Oculus VR is cute. Uh, there's a lot of fun games for it. Um, it reminds me like 
kind of like the early arcade and Atari days. <laughs> and, and that's like, that's actually a compliment more than anything. Um, as, you know, I grew up in the 80s. So like those were some really awesome influential games. Uh, but this is like a whole other level of VR. And come on. The graphics and stuff are just insane here. Share screen. Window. Alex. Share. There we go. So this is Half-Life Alex. And this is something you can only play with uh, VR on PC. This does not work on the standalone Oculus. So let's Aztec said that he wishes you could tolerate Rec Room. We need to try it again. Rec Room. <laughs> So a couple things with Rec Room. So Rec Room, full of children. <laughs> um, it is, and that's... You sound like just, the Florida people now. Yeah, just saying, yeah. they won't let me move in. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've ever games with like teenage children before, but they are extremely annoying. Uh, yeah, basically that's why you, everyone... you just like, go off mic. You make them mute. Like They're fine like playing-wise, but the talking-wise is where they get you. Well, that's the thing. Rec Room is like social gaming thing. So you can't. Like, kind of have There's no together. mute. You can't just go There's, mute people. <laughs> you can, but it, then you're like, can't really play together. So, and yeah. Uh, so this says, oh, there we go. Press trigger to start. All right. Uh, so I don't know how well this is coming through. Ooh. But uh, as you can see, the graphics are <laughs> on a whole other scale compared to um what's it called wow. uh, horizon yeah. yeah yeah so like you even have like really detailed stuff like this um Jeez. if you have a big enough space you can actually like walk around in like Go a full basement. like 3d environment going to the basement yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. this is Go so down. hard to do without sound oh. <gasps> what was that <laughs> Oh my god, I want to play so bad. <gasps> Go into the basement, Ed. What are you shooting? I'm trying to die here. There's an alien up there. Oh. Uh, this is the cool thing about VR um, games, like at this level. So if I want to reload, like I literally have to eject the thing and like put it in, and then rack it. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. It's been a while since I played. Uh, which which one's the rack button? Eh, this is how you die in VR. <laughs> okay, I think I racked it and just didn't know it. Uh, and then we have pockets that we can put things in. But the the graphics Fancy. fidelity. That's amazing. I mean, you can see the like the light streaming from the windows. We've got zombies. Come on. Okay, I get it. I put ammo in my backpack. I get it. But telling me how to put ammo in my backpack. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna die. I didn't load it. Oh shoot! <laughs> I didn't die. Bad example. It, the menus are like annoying me. <laughs> it is. But, though. Uh, the graphics are really. <laughs> it's pretty sharp, ain't it? What? So, so you're saying you have to have why... a PC to play that? you have to have a hefty PC to play it. So the cool thing about VR is uh, this is streaming at, uh, let me see if I can pull the resolution here. Um, new. Yeah, video settings. I don't know if you can see this, but we're streaming at 2528 by 2780. You see that screen? Is that? No. No, okay, mm -mm. you don't see the settings screen. So this is 25 by 2780. So that's like 2K, I think, ish. So like 4K is like 3080. So this is like between 2K and 4K. Uh, that's per eyeball. <laughs> that is per eyeball, which, you know, if you're gaming on like a console or, or PC, um, you're playing at maybe hd on one screen so this is like ultra this, hd yeah on two it looks screens. really freaking cool 
I want to play. <laughs> so this is something you can actually play now because you have the hardware to do it. So this is why I, I always say like gaming on the PC is something that Mac users will just never understand. It's just on a whole different level of fidelity that you've never seen before. It's just something else. Um, and when I'm not streaming, this this runs extremely like efficient. It's 60 frames or more. Uh, nice and what's smooth. The, what's the max frames uh, that a person can see? Um, it depends. They say it's somewhere around 60 hertz. But uh, I think, I mean, that's kind of like a, a general, oh, Jesus, conception. Like, some people can probably see more. Um, I think PC gamers probably have tuned themselves to be able to see more than that. The, mm -hmm. the latest monitors and stuff are up to 144 hertz. So that's 144 frames per second. So um, yeah, that's that's a pretty fast refresh rate. I don't think you're going to see any like scanning or anything in that. But uh, this is this is something to be experienced. <laughs> this is a this is a game yeah. like no other. I mean, just the details in the like. You see the stuff we're doing in Horizon, like I mean, there's like scratches in the wood. The wood. Reflects. I know that's what that's kind of what I was really hoping you'd tell me about. And I guess it's not a thing is like, like when we're talking about the ramp in horizon and I'm like, could mm -hmm. we give it a texture, like an actual texture or like, like no. mark it up yeah. ourselves or. There are no textures in horizon, unfortunately. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is like, this is the valve source engine. This is something that's like way more advanced than um, what's, what's capable from, uh, the Facebook game. But the thing is that the Facebook horizon works on the Oculus without the PC. Right. So that's why this is different because, you know, we're able to do like real time lighting in here where I could put this bottle in the light and it actually changes. Yeah. Uh, you know, you could see the bubbles. This is a liquid. Yeah. Look at the liquid. So, I mean, this is like nuts. Some of these you can actually shake and they will foam. And then the bubbles will change like in size and stuff. They <laughs> orient too, like the orientation. Notice they're always bubbling up. The details, so, it's incredible. As you get eaten. like <laughs> Yeah. See, I think the beers you can shake up. So let's try to shake one. Yeah, see it foamed. See it's frothy. That is so cool. And then we just smash it. But you actually feel pretty like immersed in this type of thing. Dude, I is... feel immersed in the other type of thing. So this will be like a whole other <laughs> level. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. So I, I don't know if I told you this story, but um, I was, am I facing, where am I facing? Oh, okay. That's probably... I can turn a little bit here. So I'm playing this game and there's you saw one of the zombies a minute ago. So I'm I'm in my office and I'm like playing this and I'm I've been playing it for hours and I've got my my gun drawn and I'm standing at the door and I hear the doorknob jiggle and I'm like, "Oh, there's there's got to be a zombie behind the door, right?" So I'm like I'm like, "All right, I'm going to I'm going to crack this door. And I'm going to blast whatever's on the other side and I hear the doorknob jiggle as I'm reaching for it." I'm like, that sounds awful realistic. And I don't remember the zombies like actually like shaking doorknobs. So I was like, Peek. oh, there's a like my basement door is in front of me and my daughter's trying to get in. <laughs> she's she's turning the knob and I'm like ready to just like blast her in virtual world. <laughs> I'm like, do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, my so gosh. <laughs> it's kind of a weird experience. Like you get freaked out in these things. I but, actually uh, had this like what is real? Like after playing for so long, I was like, <laughs> what is real? <laughs> this, this is something that's really cool that you have to uh, get. Um, I'll, I'll show you how to get like uh, your, your setup to where you can try this out. Mm. And it is pretty phenomenal. I think you and Turtle will get a kick out of uh, this thing. I mean, it's not just a game. It's like, 
like when you s the previous generation saw Star Wars for the first time type of thing like this is something completely different it's not so basic cool stuff you're such a show off with your hair <laughs> no one's hair should look that good after <laughs> Uh, after VR. <laughs> Can't hear you now. No, nothing. We got nothing. We got nothing. Nothing, nothing from Ed. Nothing, nothing. There we go. Mm. Now you should be able to there hear you me are. again. Yeah, we can hear you. I was just saying, I was surprised that streamed. That takes a, a lot of effort. I don't know if you could hear my fan going in the background. <laughs> no, the we PC couldn't. Is it? Is, like, is it Warren? <laughs> yeah, it's not. I don't think it's doing it anymore. But it was like full, like weed eater mode. It's like it's like <laughs> maximum effort. <laughs> yeah, you know you're doing something good when it's doing that. Mm -hmm. Just like raw horsepower. I think you, I think, I think we're off next week. I think you had something else going on. Maybe. I could uh, be wrong. Yeah, we have blazing in the summer going on next week. Yeah. So we have five days of guest streamers taking over Code It Live. Nice. And um, there's going to be Daniel Roth, who's the program manager on Blazer. And uh, Layla Codes, it's going to be here. And Fierce Kittens is going to be here. Is it that Hansen. same time each day or? Yeah, it's about, um, it's uh, 12 o'clock noon the first day, Eastern time. Because Mr. Daniel Roth is out in, um, in uh, the uh, West Coast time zone. So uh, East or Pacific time. So if we did it too early, he'd be waking up crack it on yeah we don't want to do that fam so it's at noon uh which is still kind of early there but it's at least uh, a decent medium then uh the next day we're at 10 a.m for layla uh so layla's coming on at 10 and then um eagle's coming on at 10 as well because they're they're both uh, more in the european time zone so eagle's in iceland uh, uh. layla's in england and then we've got um We've got Curious Drive, who's mm. done some fantastic videos for Blazer. He's coming on at 11 on Thursday. And then um, we've got Fierce Kittens on Friday at 11. Very so cool. Full week of Blazer fun. Lots of awesome guests. Mm, 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 mm. So no show well, next week. But we will see you on the one after. And uh, hopefully we'll maybe have a dual stream figured out or we'll just swap between the swap between the views but i'm just so excited i love it our game's coming along nicely and we are in a much better spot because we organized so thank you yeah. for helping yeah, me with that. my mushroom tree <laughs> that hurts it hurts uh. oh, well i think that's all we have for you have a wonderful weekend everybody it's almost there we're almost there awesome. mm -hmm. One more day, this. One more day. One more day. One more day. <laughs> Take care, everybody. <laughs> Bye.